Welcome back, everybody. We are that close to finish the person component of this course. So what we did in the last episode was that we extended the query to also fetch an image and its title and URL. And we adjusted the person component to render this image, which you see on the right side. I would like this component to look a little bit more like this, though. So how can we do this? First of all, we have to add a new field into Contentful. So let's go back to the content model section, go to the person, and let's add a new field. So for a paragraph like this, you could now choose to go with Markdown. Markdown has a few downsides, though. We found out that Markdown, first of all, has limited formatting options. But the biggest downside is really that URLs in Markdown are hard-coded. So when you link to other pages or images and you update these, you also have to update all the Markdown fields that reference these, which makes a lot of content very, very hard to maintain. In Contentful, we now have the Rich Text Editor, which is a Markdown alternative, and you will see what this is about in just a minute. So let's add a new Rich Text field here, and I'm going to say it's a bio, and I'm going to move this one up, and I'm going to hit Save. So when I now go to the content entry, I have this new field available, and this is how the Rich Text uh, looks like. So I can now just type away and say, hello world, I'm really just... Without just, I'm really recording this one episode covering Contentful. So now let's give this a link and we say Contentful and we insert this and let's publish these changes. What we can now do is we can go to graphical, we copy again this query, we refresh and to update the schema and let's see what we have available. Nice. So now we have the bio field available, but you see that we cannot just query it because it ha must have a selection of subfields. So what do we have available here? So we have links available, which would be um, the case when we would reference other contentful entries inside of this rich text editor, uh, which I'm not doing right now. So we can just go with JSON. And when we fetch this data, you will see that there's a lot of stuff going on. So the rich text field uh, will result in a JSON data structure that is a nested tree of content. So you see here several node types going from document, paragraph, text, hyperlink, and you can then iterate with your tooling over this to render HTML, React components, or whatever you like. Cool. But with this, we have the data setup ready. Let's get this into React. So what we can now do is we can go back to the app component and let's update the query and paste this one over which means that we then have the right data available. So I'm copy and pasting this one and we're going to go back to the person component and let's just make also bio a required object. So what we can do now is we can grab the bio here and when we log out, let's just do console log bio.json, we will see the nested data structure available. Come on. Here we go. So we have the node type content and you really see that it is a nested structure of uh, objects. So how do we render these? At Contentful, we provide you with a few packages to do this. So you, and I already installed them. So you see there that we have Contentful Rich Text Types and Contentful Rich Text React Renderer. And I'm gonna use these right now so that you see what these are about. So let's get the renderer in first. So what we can do is we can do import and I'm going with empty curlies here to see what is available. And we go add contentful uh, with which text renderer. And this package now provides a function that is document to react components. So let's try this and see how it works. So what we want to do is we want to have this paragraph here and want to render it with my contentful content. So let's paste this. This now, first of all, complains about classes. So let's fix the classes here to be class name. And now we should have the component available. Cool. That looks good. So let's try to make this with our rich text field. So what we can now do is we can do document to react components and we can do bio JSON. Let's see what happens. Nice. So here we have the text and it's also rendering a link to Contentful, which is also pretty good, but it's not looking how we want it to look like. So how could we fix this? To fix this, the second package comes into play. 
So let's go up again and let's see what we have available. So I'm doing the same trick I'm doing with MP curlies and we'll do add content full and then rich text types. So when we now go in here and we have a look, we see that there are blocks, containers, and I'm going to go with blocks for now. And I'm going to go with inlines because we have, we want to render a paragraph and we want to render an inline link. And what we can now do is we can provide some options for the document to react components renderer. So let's define this. I'm just defining a new object here, which is rich text, rich text options. And this is now an object where we can uh, define a render node function. And this now can define several functions that will be executed with children and uh, node and children. So we can do span and say, let's hey hello world here. But now we didn't define what we want to render actually. So let's go in and let's say blocks. And let's say, what do we have? We have probably a paragraph in here. And now we have the rich text options available and we can pass this to this function here. So when we now save and refresh the whole thing, we see that it's rendering hello world. So what happens is that this function iterates over the data structure that we give it. And we just defined that uh, if it is a block element and if it's a paragraph, we should please render the span hello world. But this is probably not what we want to do. What we want to do is we want to render this paragraph here. So let's grab this one. Let's bring this one in paragraph. It is already closed. And what we can do there to continue the iteration, we can say, all right, render the children. So let's save this. And this looks already pretty good. So what we are now missing is the, the link. So let's say, entry hype. No, we want to do a normal hyperlink. And now we can do the same thing. We can do note and children. And for a link, what we want to do is we wonder, want to render it with this structure here. All right, let's copy this one here. So let's say render a uh, return. And we have this, we do the same trick here again, with the children. And let's save this one. Nice. So that looks good, but it's not rendering the URL now. So let's find out where the URL is inside of this data structure. So we can quickly console log the node here. Let's see. So we have here node type hyperlink and we have data URI. Cool. So we can go in here and we can say node data URI. We can remove the console lock here and then we can see if that works and it works. And now we can remove the paragraph that we just copy and paste it. And we implemented rich text in react, um, using GraphQL. And that's all I had to do. I think that this component, I will style it a little bit later, but I think that this component now looks good to go. And we can continue in the next episodes with more data structures, and we will deal with references and bookmarks. I'm looking forward. See you then.